Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize Shopify Dawn theme in 2023. Let's come to the computer screen. Here is my Shopify dashboard and you have to click online store and then here you will find the theme option. You can see my theme is a default Dawn theme and I am going to customize this theme click this option here we go now you can see the interface in center of the screen you will find all of the theme options and here you will find individual items and in right side you will find some customization option for example if you want to change the banner image then you have to click here you will see some heading and image size here and if you want to change the text you will see this description here and you can easily change it from here let me do it one by one first of all i'm going to header and going to change some header settings here is color scheme background one you have multiple color scheme you can select one of them and play with it which will be good for you you can select it from here now you have to select the logo from here i'm going to change it you can change it default logo scare logo or cover logo whatever you want you can change it here is the custom logo width here is the position and here is the main menu you can change this main menu home catalog according to your requirement and this is the drop down a spreader line you want to show or you don't want to show you can select it from here enable sticker header do you want sticker header or not you can select it from here you can see the spacing bottom margin top margin select it from here play with these options and check its effect here now i'm going to change here is the announcement bar you can change the announcement bar also and here is the announcement bar you can change the header you can change the banner image let me change this select image you can select it from the library or you can upload it i'm going to upload it from my desktop let me select a picture from here you can see this image you can delete it you can upload it and image is selected now now you can change this text also from here like i'm going to change it product you can change this text also i'm going to and you can change this button shop all all products it's, it is linking to all products you can link into pages blogs or a specific page now look at this portion you can change this heading here you can see talk about your brand you can put some text here you can bold it italic it you can resize heading small large extra large and put some text here put some text here according to your company requirements or your store requirements now come to this feature collection portion you can see when you will select this portion you can see uh, options here like you can change its heading from here you can change heading size you can put some description here you can see description will go here and if required show collection description from the admin you can put it here you can check this option also you can change the styles body subtitle uppercase whatever you will be your requirement you can select it from here here is a collection or you can change it you can change the collection you can remove the collection but i am going to retain it you cannot see any product here because uh, at this time i haven't add any product in this store now you can change the backgrounds from here you can change uh, solid button link outline button if i click the outline button you can see the effect here now play with these options also adopt images 
columns padding or bottom padding you can change it from here okay now i am going to retain it you can remove this section also but i am not going to do this at this time now the third portion you can change the collection name select collection you can put it home page or you can create the collection it is a collection portion and you can create this collection from here these are the product title select product you can uh, select any product i haven't any product at this time so you can create the product and here is a collection name if you want to put some collection um, you can set it up from here here is a video you can add any video for this sample case you can change the link from here you can put the link of your video you can select the cover image for this for example i'm going to select this image for the cover you can see here the image but i am not going to do this you can put the video alt text background and same like the padding in the third portion you have some text options you can change it according to your requirement you have to select the same procedure from here now here is the quick link button you can select footer menu you can change the heading you can select the menu from here you i haven't any menu at this time but you can change you can change menu you can remove menu from here you can uh, put some info here like and cha can change the title from here i'm going to and your mission will goes here and here is a subscription button you can also change it according to your requirement so this uh, is a way to customize your shopify theme in a simplest and easy way after changing all the things you have to save your theme now we will take a look how to add products in your shopify store here is the admin panel of your shopify store and in left side you will find a option of products click here here you will find all the products you have added to your store i'm going to add a new product you have to click add product here we go now we have to fill this form let's come to the title for example our product is pizza we have to write the pizza here here you will put some description in my case i am going to put some dummy text here media files pictures for this let's post i'm going to put this image here now pricing 1000 comparison prices 9000 cost per item let's suppose 5000 cost oh sorry it's 800 and cost is 200 so it's 80 percent margin for this product you can see the real time calculation here now you have to put some inventory if you have a stock keeping unit or barcode you can put it here continue selling when out of stock you can check this according to your requirement shop location availability you have to put the inventory here let's suppose i am putting it 100 shipping weight you have to put weight of product here you have to select the country from here in my case i'm going to put pakistan if you have some harmonized code you will put it here if your product have variant then you will select this checkbox like size i'm going to put it small done and medium and large now you have to put the done here size done you can edit it now you can see the variant that you have created you can put its prices like uh, small is of 500 and it is of 800 and this is of 1000 put its picture here let's suppose i want to put some dummy pictures here add image add image now you will select this and done now here select this and done 
now here select this and done here is the search engine just listening now come to the right side your productive active or draft if you want to publish this then you have to select the active sales channels and product category uh, this is food beverage you can select it according to your requirement product type you can you can put food here and if you have some collection you can put it here and uh, tags if you have some tags like uh, pizza fast food now we have two tags so this is a way to add the product in your shopify store now after setting up all options you have to save this now you can see when we click the product i have two products now that's the end of today's discussion thank you very much for watching this tutorial keep watching the next one